What up, what up, it's Dane here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the glycemic index. The glycemic index is just the concept of how quickly a particular food increases the levels of blood sugar. However, there are a few problems to this. Number one, when you consume a food, most of the time you consume it in a mixed meal, right? You don't just have a piece of chicken breast just on its own with nothing else, right? So, point being, protein and fat can change the GI. Number two, the GI of a particular food can change from day to day. For example, if I eat, let's say, white bread and it spiked my blood sugar by, let's just say, for example, 50%, the next day it could do 20%. Number three, the particular GI of a food also can change from person to person. So for example, let's say, again, I ate white bread, mine was 50%, yours could be 15%, right, or 20%. So keep that in mind. Therefore, I guess my recommendation is just stick to foods that are high in fiber and high quality foods. Don't really fuss too much over the GI of a particular food. Now, moving on to the next point. A very common belief is that, okay, man, stop eating high GI foods because this will increase the levels of blood sugar and then cause a rapid fall, therefore making you hungry. But the thing is, research is very, very clear on this. Unclear, should I say between the glycemic index of a particular food because obviously you are you are consuming in a mixed meal most of the time. So it's also very hard to track this. Therefore, the GI and the appetite response is very, very unclear. However, this is my recommendation. Stick to feeds that, foods, feeds, foods. Stick to foods that are very high satiating and fill you up. For example, high in fiber, high in protein, low energy density, and low palatability by energy density i mean broccoli you can eat a lot of it not a lot of calories mars bar there's like just this little bit and there's like 500 calories in that small package so energy density means how many calories per gram the palatability of the food is does it taste good does it taste shit so broccoli on its own will have a low palatability so that's that that's a glycemic index to be honest with you, it's not very reliable when it comes to diet and staying full. Follow those four principles that I just mentioned and you'll be good to go. Also, in my opinion, I don't actually think, or my current knowledge, right? I don't think the glycemic index is actually a good indicator of leading to stuff like cardiovascular disease and diabetes, which again, I'll get into another video if you guys really wanna see that. But anyway, stay positive, turn on post notifications and as always, Stay positive, stay smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.